Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial in Windows 7. This is to find hidden themes and backgrounds that Windows have actually hidden from you. Now, I don't know whether this works in XP or Vista, there may be other ways to do it, but I'm just trying to show you in Windows 7, I'm just trying to keep up to date with the operating system I'm using. I don't want to try and tell you how to do it in other operating systems in case it doesn't work or it's not there. So as I say, this is aimed at Windows 7 only. So if you have Windows 7, please follow along. So all you have to do is in Windows 7, where this little folder icon is down the bottom, this is our libraries, or Windows Explorer as it says. If we open that up, we have a box that looks like this. Now our first target is to select Organize, then Folder and Search Options, and then click View in the tab in the middle. And a little way down the selections, you'll have here Hidden Files and Folders. Now default it's set as, as Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders or Drives. We want to show them, so if we select Show, and then select apply and OK. That will disappear, that's that done. Now with this box still open, we still want to use this. At the top here where it's got libraries as it's lighting up blue where my mouse cursor is, just simply click there once, it will highlight it, delete that out and don't worry about what I'm going to be writing here at the top. You won't need to pause the video to try and write it all in or to be able to see it to write it in. I will put this in the description below the video so you can just copy and paste it just to make life a bit more easier for yourselves. So I'll copy, uh, I'll paste this in, sorry, and just hit enter. And as you can see, we have five files. Now these are all countries, GB being Great Britain, US being United States and obviously the other three being the countries they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Great Britain one and then I'm just going to do the United States just to show you the two different type. Obviously I'm not going to do them all because otherwise there's no point you going to look to see if you like any. And there is more than one background image in there. So if I open up the Great Britain one as you can see we've got theme and United Kingdom. Now I'll come back and show you that in a minute, the United Kingdom part. But I'm just going to select theme. And then we have GB. Now although it looks like an application icon as if it's going to install something, it, it won't install um, a program of any sort. It just literally installs it to your themes into personalization which is in your control panel. So if we double click that you'll see that obviously my personalization has opened up in my control panel and here I have United Kingdom. So if I just uh, minimize that and minimize that, as you can see we have this back, uh, background image here of Stonehenge in Devon. So if I open it back up, uh, this one here, sorry, and go back and double click on United Kingdom. These are all the pictures that United Kingdom has in there. So if I show you this one, we have Tower Bridge. And the easiest way to select which one you want, obviously, is just to select it once. So it's highlighted blue, right click, set its desktop background, and then you'll see it's changed. So I'll just show you quickly again. There's Tower Bridge in London on the River Thames. Just open it back up. This is another one, I'm not too sure where this is. Uh, this one, I'm not too sure of that one. There's quite a few places I'm not too sure of where they are. It could be anywhere in, in the UK, so do uh, forgive me if I'm not too sure on where it is, the location is. Um, uh, now we all know where this one is. This has got to be down at uh, Dover, White Cliffs of Dover. 
So that's the UK ones. So if I go back, I go to the United States, click on theme, and United States. <laughs> Sorry about the bit of noise there, it's uh, the sounds that are with that background, they synchronise them in, so I'm just going to uh, just quickly sort this out so we don't have that sound keep going off. Windows default, apply, okay. So now I can carry on. So if I go back, go into the United States folder and show you the pictures. Well, I'll show you the first one that's actually popped up. This is the one that's been put in for us. So if I open it back up and just show you the pictures, I'm not too sure of these locations. As I say, I don't live in the United States, so anyone watching this video from the United States, you will probably recognize these places. So this is the next one. And show you the next one. And the next one. And I believe there's two more. We've got the next one and the last one. Back to the beginning. So that's them ones. As I say, there is uh, there is sounds which are integrated with the type of theme. So, as I say, if if you don't like the sound that you're getting with it, like what happened just now with when I selected the United States, all you have to do is come down to sounds, click on the sound scheme. You can change to whatever you like, but I just prefer Windows default, just for the fact you don't get all the sounds of the clicking whenever you're selecting something going back so I'm just going to OK that and close that back down and yeah so that's the five folders that are hidden from you so I hope this helps and please do comment and rate my videos and uh, I'll have some more tutorials up soon and as noted from the beginning of the video please do look in the description underneath this video and I will put the link which you need to write up here which is what I said earlier which you have to type in as I say that will be in the description below the video so don't worry too much about that and yeah so good luck with that and I hope that helps cheers guys